Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this uh, screencast in which we are going to find out the value of a bond assuming that the bond gives us annual coupon payments. So, um, some data is given to us already. The face value of the bond is given $1000. The coupon rate of interest at which the bond is going to give us the interest is 12% per annum. 10 years remain for maturity and the required return that you have is 10% per annum which we also call as our discount rate and denote by the letter small k. <clears throat> now the first thing when you are finding the value of a bond is to find out the coupon payment in dollar terms. Coupon payment in dollar terms is always equal to the coupon rate times the face value. So it's going to be 12% of a thousand dollars and that is going to give you one hundred and twenty dollars per year so that is your coupon payment which we can now use to find out the bond value B and in the subscript we write zero because we want <coughs> we are finding out the value of a bond at the present moment and the present moment is denoted by the digit zero so B zero is equal to your coupon payment which we denote by the capital letter I times the present value interest factor of the annuity at the rate of k percent for n years k percent we already know here 10 and we already know the time to maturity given to us is 10 so we just write here 10 percent for 10 years and then move on ahead we'll put a plus sign and then let us start a bracket because we want to separate the two terms in this bracket we are going to write the maturity value and we are going to multiply that by because this maturity value of thousand dollars is going to be a lump sum amount so we are going to multiply this by present value interest factor of one dollar at the same ten percent rate for ten years please be careful that the rate of discounting that you're using here ten percent and this 10% is equal to your required return. Please do not use the coupon rate for discounting purposes. Coupon rate, this one, is always used only for finding out the coupon payments. That is all. So, let us complete this equation. Let's plug in our numbers. For <coughs> I, we have this value, 120. So, let's write here 120 times the present value interest factor of the annuity at the rate of 10% for 10 years. If you look at the tables, you will find that the value for this factor is 6.145. And then we go on ahead and deal with our bracket term. Maturity value, this one, this M, is this value here. So let us write 1000 and multiply it by the present value interest factor of 10% for 10 years from the tables we have this value 0 0.386 and when you complete this calculation you are going to find that it is 737.4 plus 386 and that gives you a total of 1123 dollars and 40 cents so this is the value of your bond so that was pretty simple isn't it now uh, let us change the data and uh, use it for calculating the value of a bond which pays you a semi-annual coupon payment so we have changed this word to semi-annual we continue with the same uh, information here um, face value is a thousand dollars uh, let's also assume a number for the coupon rate of interest let's say that this is equal to 10 percent number of years to maturity let us say six years remaining to maturity and the required return um, let us say it is equal to 14 percent 14 percent let's make it 14 percent so as before the first thing for us is going to be to find out the coupon rate of uh, coupon uh, payment in dollar amounts please remember now that when you are finding the value of a bond which pays you a semi-annual interest payment 
you are always reducing uh, you are always uh, making your interest rates half and you are doubling up the time so coupon payment coupon rate is given to us 10% so we are going to use half of that here 5% of the face value which is this thousand dollars so let's write thousand and you have your coupon payment as dollar fifty per six months <coughs> now uh, let us make the changes to this equation this was uh, now look the interest rate that is the required return is 14 percent here so we are going to take the half of this rate so we are going to write here seven percent um, 7% 7% and the number of years it says is 6 so we are going to double these number of years and make them 12 and the same thing is going to happen here this 10% we are going to change it to 7% and this 10 years we are going to change to 12 years So uh, the rest of the job is simply to locate the factors. So we change this 120 and insert our new coupon payment here, which is $50. So let's change this 120 to 50. Now we need to find out the present value interest factor of the, an annuity of $1 for 7% and 12 years. If we look at the table, this value is equal to 7.943 and then this factor present value interest factor of one dollar at seven percent for 12 years if you look at the table this value is going to be 0 0.444 so that changes your calculation you are going to get for this thing 397.15 plus 444 and that gives you the value of the bond. It is equal to $841.15. Pretty simple, isn't it? I hope this little screencast on finding the value of a bond was helpful for you. Thank you very much.